Alright, I've gotten a couple of comments about pe from people who want me to make a video about GTA online. Um, there was maybe one of my videos, one of my more popular videos, strangely enough, was a GTA online video, or GTA 5 rather, video. Uh, just doing one of the last, the last mission in GTA 5. I don't know how that one managed to get so popular, but it seems to be very polarizing as well. There are a lot of things that people didn't like about that video. For example, I was really bad at the game. I was playing it on console. I was playing it in first person mode. Anyway, these days, if I ever decide to jump on this game, particularly the online mode, I use this game as a simulator. I society simulator, if you will. So, what does that mean? It means that I am in a nice apartment in a nice area. I am living in an apartment that's in the north area. So, as you can see, it's surrounded by all of the more expensive looking houses as opposed to living in, I guess, the equivalent of Orange County as my computer continues to render parts of the game in real time. Uh, that's, most, that's my computer, by the way. It's not the game being crap. Uh, I've just simply specifically lowered my settings significantly in order to be able to record this game at 1440p. Now, another part of what I would call high society uh, simulator is to have a really nice car. And my garage does have a handful of cars ranging from painfully average. For example, I think this car here would be considered a painfully average car. I can't even remember what car it is. Oh, it's a sports car. Up to other racing cars. I believe this one is also a painfully average car. Uh, painfully average two-seater at least. Oh yeah, the Fusillade sports car. And then we have a muscle car. And my favorite being the Zentorno, which is a super duper expensive, at least at the time, car. Now, as you may notice, I am using first person mode because I want this game to just be a simulator, a life simulator. And in first person mode, that means that I'm actually gonna try to not drive like a maniac like most people do. So, we're going to look both ways because I actually hold a full driver's license in Australia, so we're going to try and look both ways and not crash. On the stop, we are going to stop for a sec. Make a flight. <laughs> Nearly crashed! Don't really want to crash this car because it is, after all, a Zentorno, which makes it pretty expensive. And the insurance alone is uh, pretty hardcore. In fact, I don't even think I can actually make a left turn. So I'm going to have to go this way. And we'll just wait for these cars. <laughs> yeah, this this is a totally different kind of video to I think most GTA videos, especially for GTA Online. People are like, oh, check out this new ride. Now let's go and like kill some stuff. No, check out my, check out my sweet ride. Let's try not to blow it up. Okay, how about that? You know, it's a high society simulator. Let's try not to, but I am going to completely there we go. Green light. <laughs> I am not kidding. Red light. And basically, I am now going to make my way to a jet. Because high society life, I have a jet. Alright, so here we are at the jet. Let's see, is there a place to park? There does not appear to be a place to park the car. That's really unfortunate. So uh, instead we will just... You know what? That's just... 
in real life, I almost never do front to curb. I tend to prefer back to- Ah, oh, this is not even a parking spot. <sighs> Whatever. So, I bought myself a jet. This is, of course, the Hydrojet, which is available. It's very expensive, but I think it's very, very fun. sec. So, again, we're going to use first person mode. Sometimes I jump into third person mode, especially with the jet, because it's a lot easier to use with third person mode. But, as a simulator, we're going to use first person mode. As the Hydrojet, it does have vertical takeoff and landing, which makes it a lot easier to use. I personally prefer a jet to a helicopter. I find controlling a helicopter to be not my cup of tea. It just isn't. Uh, for those who are interested in using a jet like this or any aircraft, just remember you'll probably want to have a keyboard with a number pad. I find that tends to be very good for the sensors. Now, real quick, do I have any individuals here? There's no... Oh, there's no people in this particular world. Okay, that's okay. No worries. Not a problem. So, we're going to now use our jet to fly to the Orange County equivalent. Don't forget to take off... Uh, don't forget to stow away your landing gear as well. That tends to cause some additional unnecessary turbulence. Now, we are actually flying in some turbulence. So that's unfortunate, but we should still be able to control everything reasonably well. Oh, that's right. Just a random missile. Now, if you get a little bit airsick, I don't know, maybe you might not want to use the jet. Because it is a bit on the turbulent side sometimes. But otherwise, I just like to fly. I really love to fly. Um, even though there's some there's some stuff. So we are on our way to our left. We can see part. Uh, we to our, rather to our right. We can see the ocean. To our left, we can see some of the countryside. Um, I don't even know where I want to go necessarily. Let's try and find the airfield. Oh, there it is. So, we're actually gonna try and land on the airfield. Now, personally, I have never done this before. What's this? Okay, don't care. Remember, don't text and fly, kids. <laughs> don't text and fly. So, I think for the final bit of this video, we'll try and do a mission. Now, ooh, hang on, I've lost the airstrip. Yeah. Oh no, there it is. Hello there. Do you ever think that something's like missing from your life? And I don't mean just that your wife ran off or that your best friend Don't care. Okay. We're gonna try and land on the airstrip. So I can see the airstrip on my map, which is good. It means I have a vague idea as to where it is. Can't really rely on looking out my window to figure that out. I have to use my instruments per se. Here we go. Taking gear, uh, landing gear on, making a bit of a dive. Oof. Good stuff. Good stuff. A safe and secure landing. Um, as the great Obi-Wan Kenobi would say, another happy landing. So let's just make our way to the thing. Is there meant to be a space? Ah, right over there. So we're going to make ourselves a right turn. In the meantime, I'm going to call my mechanic. 
and bring along maybe not the Zentorno. I find the Zentorno is not particularly good for off-road stuff. Instead, we'll go for the Saber Turbo. And that should be delivered near where I am. Hopefully. Good stuff. Ah, oh, there it is. Right behind the jet. Awesome. So, without further ado, for the final part of this video, let's do a mission. And I'm going to do a mission including the jet. Hello, friend. Can I help you with something? Absolutely. I will be in touch. Okay, so we're waiting for a job from the one called Martin. Here we go. Uh, Defender. Merryweather, they kill who they please. Life and death, the ultimate deregulation. Can I actually find him? No. Okay, I'll just take... I guess I'll just take the job. Uh, we'll go hard. I'll use my bullpup rifle, which is my favorite rifle in the game. Uh, super heavy ammo. Fun fact about the bullpup rifle, it is actually the rifle that is used officially in the Australian Army. So, uh, for those who are interested, I am... Well... I guess I can get someone else to join me if they want to join me. I don't think anyone's going to join me. As you can see, my my um, my stats are very good in the way of stamina, shooting, driving, and flying. Of course, I would love to improve my flying all the way to I don't know what the absolute maximum for that would be. Uh, approximately. Five seconds, we will jump in. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So what I like to do is start immediately. Oh, I need to get to a helicopter. So how far away is the helicopter? Oops. It's one... It's only one mile away. Okay, awesome. That should be easy enough to get to. I don't even know what is a what is a road and what isn't. Okay, so apparently I don't necessarily think I chose the right car for off-road right driving anyway. Maybe my Zentorno would have been better. Ah! Got to look both ways before you cross the street. So uh, definitely something that you want to remember to do, folks. Look both ways before you cross the street. Now, I suppose we just follow this track. Oof. We're nearly... Hey! Drove too far. Drove too fast, rather. Okay. If they're attempting to get me to defend something with a helicopter, that's gonna be a huge yikes, folks. Hopefully I can get into the helicopter and then get out. That would be nice. Drop the weapon? I'm not gonna drop my weapon. Alright. Meet Mazdros. For some reason I can't actually use... Oh no, there we go. Wait, can I, can I, 
can I like jump off the helicopter? I can I just not use the helicopter at all? Is that possible? Oof, bit of a rough landing, but that's okay. If I jump off now. Ah! Awesome! Okay. Give me a uh... Hello, you're through to Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? Give me my hydrojet. Your beautiful new aircraft is waiting at our nearest airfield. We hope you're very happy, sir. Alright. Okay, clearly I landed really badly because this <laughs> this helicopter is already starting to feel it. Ay ay ay. People prefer helicopters because they, they aren't prone to as much turbulence, maybe? I don't know. Either way, the uh, airfield that we were in earlier, that's where my jet is waiting for me. Alright, where is it? Oof. There it is. So we're actually going to fly it like a commercial plane. What does that mean? It means I need a runway. We're going long boys, we're going long. Oh. This is really, this, I highly, I highly recommend you don't do this, everyone, for safety reasons, you do not want to be going backwards in a jet. But, to save some time. We're taking off. Dropping our gear. Gear is up. As you can see on the bottom right hand side, gear is up. Of course, I know for a fact that the gear is up because I hit the G button to raise my gear. Alright, let's go. We are losing the Grand Senora Desert. And we are flying to the contact at the airport. So we may actually want to do a vertical landing, actually. Let's get as high as we can first. Maybe up to like 20, 25 miles. I don't know if that's miles or feet. I don't know. 30. Let's go up to like the 30 mark. Okay. Hopefully there's not as much turbulence. Okay, I see a runway. Actually, that's really good. Okay. It's time to dive. Gear down and land. Don't. There we go. Oh. Another happy landing. Now we're going to cut a couple. We're going to cut a couple of corners so that we can go over there.
Oof. Oops. Okay. So we're going to escort to Shady Shores Airfield. Okay. Good thing I brought the jet. So there should be some enemy helicopters. Oh, this is going to be my favorite mission in a while. Actually, I'm going to love this. Okay, let's go. Let's go hunt this one out. I missed. Woo, got one. Eee. Oh, those, those are not hits. Okay, let's turn around. Maybe I should stick to the cannon. Let's see if I can find them again. That's one. That should be a hit. Yep, that's a hit. Confirmed hit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead of the contact and find the other remaining enemies. Ah. Mitsukirazo! So that would be the contact. Okay. I need to find my jet. MMI, we expect the unexpected. Oops. With Morse, it's mutual. Pegasus Lifestyle Management, how can I help? Thank Hydrojet, you, sir. Where are you? Your spectacular aircraft is now ready for you at our nearest airfield. I don't know where I need to go. I don't know where I need to go. I'm just going to go in the general direction. And hopefully I can... Hey! I don't know where I'm going. I'm up a hill. Oh, that's not helpful at all. I'm up a hill. Oh! Ouch! So, uh, don't follow the way I did this mission. Full of kamikaze my way. Ah. Oh, I'm in the, I'm in the hill area. That's, that's why it's not helpful at all. Damn it, should have stayed on the road, should have stayed on the road. Halo physics! Halo physics! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that worked. Anyway. I hope there's more of these kinds of... I wonder if I can find another one of these kinds of missions. 
So that, folks, is some High Society Simulator 2019. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. What do you use? Uh, GTA 5 for? Is it just basically a faux Counter-Strike Simulator 2019? Let me know. Or do you like to do other kinds of missions? Let me know. How are you going? Let me know. Anyway, if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe for maybe some more GTA videos. I don't know. Otherwise, until next time, as per usual, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.